Hello, we've been discussing oscilloscopes and how they measure voltage. But what if we want to know something other than voltage? Current, maybe. Luckily, many other parameters in a circuit can be determined mathematically if you know the voltages. Oscilloscopes usually have what are called math channels, which perform mathematical operations on the measured voltages and display the results as a function of time. In this project, we'll use a math channel to determine the current through a resistor using the voltage across the resistor and Ohm's law. Ohm's law is a mathematical formula relating a resistor's voltage and current. If you've never heard of it, don't worry. For now, we're just going to use it and trust that it works. We'll have plenty of other projects later that will, most likely, provide more detail about Ohm's law than you would ever want. This project picks up where the third scope tutorial project on oscilloscope measurements and cursors left off. We'll be using the identical circuit we used in that project and modifying the oscilloscope settings just slightly to create our math channel. Here's our circuit. We're using channel one of the waveform generator to apply a triangular voltage waveform to the LED. We want to determine the current delivered by the source. That current is the same as the current through the resistor and the current through the LED since there's nowhere else in this circuit for the current to go. The resistor limits the current, but it also provides us with a way to calculate the current through the circuit. Ohm's law provides us with the necessary information to calculate the current through a resistor if we know the voltage difference and the resistance value. Current is just the voltage divided by the resistance. Since our resistance is 100 ohms, it just means that we take the channel 2 voltage and divide that by 100. We'll use the same circuit as the one from the second scope tutorial project, the project about triggering. The circuit's shown here. It's simply an LED connected to channel 1 of our AWG so that we can apply a time varying voltage to the LED. There's a resistor to limit the current, and we're using both channels 1 and 2 of the oscilloscope to measure the resistor and LED voltages. My oscilloscope is set up just as it was at the end of the third scope tutorial video. The waveform generator is also producing the same input voltage that we used in that project. For this project, I won't need the cursors or the measurements, so I'll eliminate them. To create a math channel, click on the Add Channel button and select Add Mathematic Channel. This provides two choices, simple and custom. Simple math channels are things like addition and subtraction of the two channels. Ohm's law isn't in the simple math options, so choose custom. A custom math window will open. Type your equation in the text box. We want channel 2 divided by 100 as our math channel. Click on OK. We get a new math window control box and a line on our plot which corresponds to the current through the resistor. The current's a pretty small number, so we need to change the scale on our plot. Let's change it to 5 millivolts per division. We should also change our displayed units to amperes. To do that, click on this little icon here and select amperes from the drop down menu next to units. That's really all there is to it. We can treat this channel the same way we do any of our others. We can set the scale and the offset. We can also edit the math function by clicking on this button here, which reopens the custom math window.